And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. We've got an areas of low pressure that are moving through the Midwest right now, and that is drawing in that snowfall over our area. We are seeing that since this afternoon, and it's persisting into the evening. Already the back end of the snow is starting to move in over the western part of the state, but we still got a couple more hours before the snow finally leaves our area. Where you do see the darker blue shades, that's representing that heavy snowfall. The teal blue representing moderate snow, and then when you see kind of the grayer colors, that's kind of light snowfall. So we still got a couple bands moving in from the Wisconsin Dells area, but you saw how it was a larger, broader area of some heavier snow. It's starting to fizzle out, but we still across northeast Wisconsin are dealing with some moderate to perhaps at pockets of heavy snowfall, and that continues to move in this evening as we're heading home from work. In terms of visibility, is a great indication to see how heavy the snow is coming down. Anything under a mile is representing some pretty heavy snowfall. A lot of us are seeing some light snow to moderate snowfall. Right now, Wapaka down to three quarters of a mile. A lot of us between one to two miles of visibility, and this is going to be the case, I think, for most of the remainder of this event. But that snow certainly has made an impact on the roadway conditions. We've got anywhere from slippery stretches to snow covered roadways, mainly south of Highway 29, but you could see up towards Highway 45, there are some slippery stretches as well. So going into the next couple of hours, light to occasionally modern snowfall will persist. This is 7 o'clock, then we'll get after about 10 o'clock or so holding on to some light to occasionally moderate snow showers. Eventually, it will turn over to some flurries, perhaps even a little wintry mix. You start to see the pink uh, shaded colors representing some freezing drizzle or drizzle, but still holding on to a couple bands of light snow showers. Tomorrow morning, finally, this lifts out of our area, and we'll start to see some mixture of sun and cloud cover during the day. And in terms of additional snowfall, on top of what we have already seen, we could be picking up another one to two and a half inches at most, depending on on where you live. Lakeside areas will be a little bit less because of an onshore wind flow, which will kind of make the snow a little more wet and heavier and compact versus more fluffier farther inland, where we'll have about one inch or so across the Fox Valley. In terms of a totals, well, about two to four inches for most of us. Lakeside areas will be right around one to two inches of snow by the time this is all said and done. It's a very light and fluffy snow right now, but as you get closer towards the evening and overnight hours, temperatures will rise up to near freezing, so it'll turn kind of more of a wetter heavy snow. We're not done with the snow. However, we kind of rest Thursday, Friday, and then on Saturday we have a potential nether system from New Year's Day. Where exactly this tracks it still remains a question. There's kind of been a pivoting point for some areas showing it hitting us, other models showing it hitting farther down in southern Wisconsin. So something to keep a close eye out on as we head into the next couple of days. As for winds right now coming in off the northeast at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, and that's making wind chills feel like the lower teens for many areas up northwest of the Fox Valley. Lakeside areas not too bad, feeling like the lower 20s. Actual air temperatures are in the upper teens in the Northwoods, and we've got 21 in Appleton, 24 in Oshkosh. It is 34 in Sheboygan and 31 in Manitowoc. Temperatures are going to eventually cool off as we head later on into the overnight hours, and we'll get down to right around 30 degrees in the morning hours, but then really plummeting as you head later on into tomorrow afternoon. We'll get into 30 on Thursday, 31 on Friday, and then chillier weather on Saturday with, oh, Sunday night football at Lambeau. High of 13 during the day, John. Oh, yeah, bring a few layers. Yeah. All right, Gino, thanks so much. Still ahead here, speaking of spending.